Hi everyone and welcome to this week's Who Would Win. I am actually pre-recording this for Wednesday because I have to be working some early hours uh, on Wednesday so I won't be here on Wednesday to do the Who Would Win so I'm pre-recording it for that Wednesday uh, or today technically speaking. And this one, this is one I got a while back and I got it and I'm like you know what I'll do it but I want to save it for the October when it would make sense. Obviously it's Michael Myers versus Leatherface. Now, I normally would give shout-outs to the people who gave me these uh, ideas. It wasn't for the very unfortunate fact that um, I didn't write out down the person's name originally when I took the um, suggestion down, and unfortunately, yeah, as I've done so many videos, and I, I tried to go through my um, managing system to see where the comments were, and as far as I can tell, it wasn't on a Who Would Win video, which makes it now very difficult to find who made the who uh, gave me the comment. <laughs> so I apologize for not giving you a shout out like I normally would. I just I, I can't find your name. I didn't write it down at the time. If you do actually end up watching this video, I I give this person the shout out in in the long run, whoever you may be. So this one's for you. You gave the suggestion. Thank you for the suggestion. With that out of the way, with that silliness out of the way, let's get on. Let's get down to it. So. Leatherface versus Michael Myers. Now, I find this is an interesting matchup because normally when I get the normally when I see these, it's Freddy versus Jason or it's Jason versus Michael Myers. I don't normally see Leatherface. I mean, Leatherface is in that kind of horror icon area, but he's kind. He's a bit more on the less like the big three. I've always been Michael Myers, Jason Voorhees, and Freddy Krueger. I mean, you could put Ghostface in there. Chucky, Leatherface, um, Pinhead. You could put them all somewhere in there, but the big three have always been those three. So, Leather and Leatherface versus Michael Myers is kind of odd. Um, but that's what's kind of why it's a little interesting. Now, that being said, having looked over everything, I can tell you right off the bat who's going to win this fight, but I'm not going to spoil that right off the bat. So, let's get down to this. So, Leatherface versus. Uh, well, Let's start with Leatherface. Leatherface, I, I know he has an actual name. I was looking it up. I was actually doing the notes yesterday for this fight, but um, I uh, did not. I didn't bother putting his name. He's Leatherface. Now, if, if for all intents and purposes, um, he apparently he's not bright. He's not like in shape or anything. He worked at a slaughterhouse. Um, he's not. Bright. In fact, he's considered in almost all the interpretations very mentally a challenge. He's very mentally ill. He's like. He's also fearful of his family. He kills out of fear. He doesn't kill out of malice or evil or anything. He's basic. He's kind of an abuse victim, more or less. He's uh, been manipulated by his family. In the original versions, they're very cruel to him. In the remakes, they're more um, they're more sympathetic towards him. But well, whatever. Um, and he he do, he doesn't do what he does out of hatred or malice, though. It's implied that he's probably abused by people because of his looks. He's not necessarily a good-looking guy. In fact, in like the remake, he's got like tumors and facial deformities and something like that, and neurodegeneration. So he's got a lot of issues with him. But he's a cannibal. Uh, he works in a slaughterhouse, and his main tools for killing are a chainsaw and a sledgehammer. Um. And that's going to pretty much play into who, who's going to win this fight, is which one he's to come out swinging with first. Uh, so, uh, but he's, it's not like he's, he, he's a guy with a gut, basically. He's a, he's, he's mentally retarded w w with a gut and stuff like that, but he's wheeling the chain size with a such and he works in a meat slaughtering factory or a meat plant slaughterhouse, so he's got some muscle to him. He's not, like, completely out of shape or anything like that. He's got, like, some lifting strength to him. Uh, but he's, whatever, he's, he's a lot of face. I mean, there's really not much. He doesn't have any supernatural abilities. He's just a, a cannibalistic hick, basically. A, a retarded cannibalistic hick who just kills people. Mm. Uh, so moving on to Michael Myers, the one who a lot more people know and along those lines. Now, Michael Myers, for a while, was he's the boogeyman. He's Michael Myers. He was around when we, the original 20, uh, Halloween starts about 21. They killed the sister at 6. It was a, it was locked up for about 20, uh, he was not 23 years, I believe 15 years and he escaped at that night. I believe he was around 21, maybe 23, give or take. 
I give or take a couple years. He was in his early twenties, and then the movies go on for another twenty three years. That that's what it was. It's that it was fifteen years he was in there, near fifteen, and that for another twenty three years he was talking his family. So he was like in his mid forties by the end of the basic run of the Halloween series. Uh, now, more or less, Doctor Loomis basically says, in fact, you know, I'm gonna even get the Halloween because uh, you know it's Halloween right now. I'm gonna actually get the whoop, Michael Myers. Yeah. Michael Myers, how I'm going to get that quote from Loomis up, because that's a, it's a great quote. Um, let's see now. Uh, basically, he is more or less pure evil with just the... Like, if you're doing a percentage, he's like 99% evil with 1% of his humanity left. And it's we've learned later on in life that it's because he's been marked by a curse of Cult of the Thorn, Curse of Thorn, as some sort of supernatural killer, which is has enhanced his stealth, strength, endurance, um and durability uh, but no as dr loomis said in the original halloween <clears throat> i'm gonna try to do my best dr loomis impression. i met him 15 years ago i was told there was nothing left no reason no conscience no understanding and even in the most rudimentary sense of life or death of good or evil and right or wrong i met this six-year-old child with this blank pale emotionless face and the blackest eyes the devil's eyes I spent eight years trying to reach him, and then I spent another seven trying to keep him locked up because I realized what was living behind that boy's eyes. Purely and simply evil. I, 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 I haven't watched the original movie in years. I'd have to, I, I, I'm a credible like, performer, but <laughs> I would have to rewatch it and actually get a good idea of how he portrayed that. Um, point being. But yeah, it's because he was actually driven crazy by voices in his head. Um, and he was actually he actually forced himself into a catatonic t state, saying that it was um, uh, saying that it was a conscious choice to do that. And he was waiting. He's a he's patient as hell. Uh, and unlike Leatherface, he actually does have a little of it. He, he's intelligent enough to drive. He knows where places are. He's actually able to gather information and use that information to his benefit. So he's not actually he's not dumb. I mean, he's not like genius or anything, but he's intelligent enough. He's he's intelligent to do what he needs to do. Uh, he's oftentimes has a blade, but he'll use whatever he has on call, uh, be it a wheat thresher, a pitchfork, uh, machete. I don't mind. Mean, I'm sure he used one of those at one point. Never uses the gun though. He always likes to do it the hand of a crowbar, whatever, whatever it may be, a rope. Uh, he'll kill you in any way possible. Uh, it's very heavily implied that he probably has a level of regeneration because he survived gunshots being set on fire with no visible burns left on him, been shot in both eyes, blinded pretty much, his eyes blown out, those regenerated, um, been, um, let me see, he's been, uh, I know he's been stabbed, yeah, he's been stabbed, uh, and you could make the argument dynamite by its reveal, retcon later that he escaped through a tunnel. Um... Now he's uh, it can lift he can lift a hundred pound man with one arm with no problem hence the supernatural strength. Uh, he's incredibly stealthy, very durable, and he's pretty much just single minded driven to for his purpose. And anyone who gets in the way of his purpose, well, they're pretty much axed off. Now it's implied that fire could like he could be incinerated, blown up, or decapitation could work. That's never happened in the series though because the only time he was decapitated it was not him. Uh, that H2O, he replaced, uh, he switched bodies with someone. Uh, so, it's, he's, it's not to say both these guys are probably killable. Leatherface is definitely killable. Michael Myers is probably killable. We just haven't seen the, because it's not like a Jason Voorhees thing, as far as we know, where even blowing him up, the curse, or, uh, um, Jason goes to hell. It did <laughs> reveal that, oh, there's a curse, you know, he's now going to possess people. No, that's not quite how Michael Myers works, as far as we know. We have to go by what we know, and what we know is that he's probably got a regeneration factor, but it's not like Wolverine's like, boom, 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 heal. No, it's boom, 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 about a day later, okay, I'm good now. Um, he's also he's also strong enough to literally just put his thumb through a man's skull, just like, like that. So, he, he's immensely strong, um, and very, and very, he's the boogeyman. Now, how does this fight take place? Well, first off, let's just say for sake's sake, Michael Myers has his standard knife on him. He, he at least has his knife on him. 
Uh, for this play, for this thing, wait, let's say Michael Myers is tracking, uh, what was her name? Um, Jamie? Let's say Jamie was one of them. Um, I know Jamie was one of them, I just don't know which one it was. I think it was the niece. Um, oh no, wait, Jamie was, um, I think Jane was actually the, um, Jamie Lee Curtis character, wasn't it? Well, take, well, why don't we just take a look here? Um, coming home. Marion, no, Dr. Loomis, Marion, uh, oh no, it's Lydia. That was it. Lydia was the uh, Jamie Lee Curtis. Okay, Jamie. Yeah, Jamie was the niece. Um, so with that said, uh, so he's looking for Jamie and he goes and he winds up there. Jamie's running and they winds up the hell out of the house looking for sanction and then it turns out no Campbell and um, Michael comes through the door but then Leatherface comes in. It's like and then they just look at each other it's like and he's scared of Michael Myers right there because I mean you look at that, that blank expression even by someone who's not. Um, mentally disabled in any sort of way, or, you know, just standard people. That's an unsettling look. So he sees that, and he sees he's in the way of Jamie. So now we get um, Leatherface going up against Michael Myers. And this fight could end really quick or really, or could or draw out a bit longer, depending on how this ends up going. Um, and I say that because it all depends on what weapon Leatherface comes out with first. If he comes out with the chainsaw first, well, then Michael Myers is fucked. <laughs> Because all he has to do is go, because Michael Myers could try catching the chainsaw, but that's not going to do anything because the chainsaw will go right through his hand and just slice him down. And, he can just, and then Michael Myers is gone. So there, there's there's your real quick fight right there. Uh, but if it's the sledgehammer, which to be fair, is more likely in a con, uh, confined space, especially in the house, like in the original movie where he just comes out and smash that, opens the door and smash that guy in the head. Then we have a change of the fight happening because it's very possible Michael Myers could take a shot to, from a sledgehammer to the head, <clears throat> and then, you know maybe a lot of us can try to smash on. But there's also a very good possibility that Michael Myers catches the sledgehammer and then stabs Leatherface, and at that point now the fight actually happens. Now Leatherface is stags and the guy's he's, he's uh, you know maybe uh, Michael Myers. Uh, Michael Myers could either go just it, he actually I could actually see a slight humorous scenario like a few seconds where Michael Myers looks at the knife and looks at the sledgehammer and is like which one do I want to use? He puts his knife back and just takes a sledgehammer and then just comes slowly walks over to um, Leatherface because Michael Myers is not a fast moving guy either. Not that he can't run, it's just that he uh, that he has run a few times. It's just that um, he's the, he's the boogeyman. He creeps up. He stalks on people. So he, he's just calling his life is now just, uh, uh, he's maybe taking something, just throwing it at Michael. Michael's just, poof, poof, you know, just walking. He's about to sl slam him in there, sl slam him in the face, and then just smash Leatherface down. That being said, I don't see Michael Myers walking out of this house alive because <laughs> this is a house full of many redneck cannibal hicks with weapons. So I imagine, you know, maybe he actually does kill Leatherface, but then the family comes and just unloads their entire arsenal on him and he just blow his head off at that point. So, but if we're talking about the straight fight just between the two of them, I think it all depends on the weapon. If it's the weapon... Uh, and let's also be clear, it, there's also a case where maybe the chainsaw is lying on the floor and Michael Myers is walking with a sledgehammer. He he, he's, he's now getting up, he's trying to start the chainsaw and maybe the chainsaw like lags a bit and then eventually he gets the chainsaw up and then he comes in the chainsaw and Michael then blocks with the sledgehammer just... And obviously chainsaw is not going to cut through a sledgehammer, that, at least not right away. the window. He's going to grind the sled, uh, chainsaw probably to like... Uh, a dull, very dull. Just, but it's probably just, and then Leatherface probably just gonna smash into Michael. Michael just smashes back. Just, and then he finally starts cutting Michael a bit. But Michael just comes in again with the knife, just, just stabs him in the stabs him in the side again, just stabs him again and again and again. And then Leatherface goes down and just stabs him again. So. And it's it's basically comes down to what's the more likely scenario of weapon for him to use in this scenario. And unfortunately, uh, I don't see him using the chainsaw very often in the like in the house. I mean, again, I haven't really watched any. I've seen a little bit of the first one, um, and I know he did use the chainsaw in the house once or twice. But I just just for the sake of just scenarios, I think the sledgehammer is a slightly more plausible one for him to go with first. So because of that, I got to give it to Michael because he's more durable. Uh, the sledgehammer is something he could actually catch, whereas the chainsaw he's screwed on. 
Um, you just, you know, again, it's like, you know, he catches the sledgehammer before the sledge gets him, whereas the chainsaw, he goes, Zzz, and then just slots in, and then he's gone. Um, so, I'm going to lean towards Michael Myers, because of durability, strength, and likelihood of which weapon Leatherface uses first. But it's not going to be by much. I'm going to say it's a 60-40 in favor of Michael Myers. But in the 40% where... in the 40% is essentially where Leatherface is, you decides to go with the chainsaw instead. Then Michael, then Leatherface just destroys Michael Myers. Then there's no, there's nothing Michael Myers can do. As far as we know, as far as we know, Michael Myers is not immune to a decapitation, being cut in half or anything like. He's not immune to any of that. He can be killed that way. Uh, so yeah, and there's no way he can block a chainsaw really at all. He's going to try to do this with a knife, which which is not going to do anything. It's just going to be and then just yeah. There, there's no way the knife would be able to take that. So yeah, I'm gonna give it to I'm gonna give it sixty forty in favor of Michael Myers, but there's very very plausible scenarios where Leatherface wins simply for better equipment on hand. Uh, so yeah, that's my that's my thoughts on this fight. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, share, subscribe. I wish you guys a happy October Halloween. I'll have one more Halloween esque. Who would win? Uh, probably up uh, tomorrow uh, next week. I've got to figure out which one I'm gonna do for that though. Um. So, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, now, there's going to be some information coming out for, I mean, like, po the Pokemon Sun and Moon demo comes out tomorrow. I can't do any, well, not early in the morning I can't do any videos on that. I'll have to wait till I get home tomorrow after work. I'm working only till 3, so I'll be back, like, 3.30 or something like that tomorrow. Um, uh, I'm trying to think. This week is Star Wars. I do know what video I'm doing for Star Wars this week. Magic video. I'll have something up for Magic. I will. Uh, I. That's another thing. I can see Jack Reacher. There's a 9:50 show. I get off at 9:30. Uh, but yeah, I can I can catch Jack Reacher this week on. Uh, well, I was gonna catch it regardless because I have Saturday off, but I can catch it my usual time is what I'm saying. <laughs> So I'll be able to do it. I'll have a Thursday review up sometime probably in the early hours of Friday in the long run. Uh, but other than that, though, yeah, business as usual, unless trailers pop up, news pops up. So, yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, share, subscribe. As always, if you want us to review something, put in the comments below. Let us know. We'll do a review of it at some point. I just realized if the Sun and Moon demo comes out tomorrow, it's Monday right now. But when this is up comes out, it's going to be uh, Wednesday. So yesterday's Sun and Moon stuff. Uh, but anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you folks.